one economic lag on our economy is lack of internet connectivity and lack of good internet connectivity. There are 20,000 homes in Maine that don't have an internet connection today. Cranberry Isles, if you don't know, is gonna have better or as good a broadband as you can get in New York City when we're done. That's the kind of internet we're talking about. That's how to move communities forward. I see broadband as a tool. It's a tool for continuing a strong economy. Someone that comes to me is looking for a custom boat, and it's a, it's a one-off, and they're looking for that relationship with a craftsman. If I don't have the ability to communicate with somebody, so without fast internet speeds, I can't send videos, I can't send pictures. It's really crucial to be able to keep up with everything that's going on. So much of our lives, whether you're on an island or not, is dependent on connectivity, on the internet people being able to do their jobs from here, whether it's just for a couple of weeks at a time or all year long, is a big deal. If you're going to attract people to a community, you need a school, and you need running water, and you need electricity, and you need broadband. A big part of our, the reason we're doing broadband is because we think it's really important to um, help expand the options for people and make it more possible than, than maybe ever to live in one of these communities and stay in one of these communities and for their kids to come back because you can be working for Jackson Lab on an island. The Cranberry Isles is a community made up of multiple islands. For them, it was important to come up with a solution that had no winners and no losers. Everybody needed to have access to the same high-speed quality internet service. And therefore, that community decided to move forward with building and owning their own network. The town takes on many projects, whether it's uh, maintaining the docks or, or the roads or, or, or any sort of thing for the common good. People really see this internet service as, as a utility that uh, you know, is, is almost more of a right than a privilege. We know that we're not a market that any company is going to come in and, and provide for us, so that if we want the infrastructure here, we're going to have to do it. In the Cranberry Isles, I was very much struck with how organically their broadband working group formed. It was really made up of people of all walks of life. You had a pastor, you had a fisherman, you had a school teacher, you had a teleworker. We don't want them to feel that they're out there alone. We don't want them to feel like they're going to be reinventing the wheel. And so Axiom became a really important partner because they've already gone first in Washington County and provided broadband services to kind of islanded communities. Communities, they may be attached by a road system, but they're equally small and equally remote in the state of Maine. Broadband is a tool for economic stability. It is one tool in the toolbox, but we want to make sure that that tool is strong and it's implemented well. By letting the community vision drive the process of what solution gets built out in these communities, we're helping to ensure that it's a solution that will serve the communities for more than five years from now, 10 years, 20 years, even 40 years. 